welcome to my side for diaries so this is the new series which we are starting today it is called as a supportive pages in this series we are going to talk about the non side core topic uh, which will help you in the side core project it can be any non uh, it can be any uh, .NET topic or maybe uh, the uh, uh, some such topic okay so first uh, uh, part the first uh, video will be on the solar so this is the introduction of a solar before moving let me introduce myself i am jitendra ghanekar i am from architect if you have not uh, subscribed to our channel please subscribe to the channel if you like the video please click on the like button please uh, uh, share it with others and provide your feedback via comment so let's start introduction to solar let's see what is solar Solar is an open source search platform which is used to build a search application and it is built on the Lucene. Uh, so Lucene, Lucene is other technology. Some other day we will have a uh, uh, video on the Lucene. So it, Solar is based on the Lucene. So bas basically Solar is used as a search application. So it is used as a contain search. So in your application if there is a lot of content then you want to search that uh, anything on that content then the solar is used that uh, that search can be your wildcard search or uh, phrase search uh, that those kind of a search which we can you can use uh, solar okay and then uh, it is uh, uh, it, it is used to find the required information from the large data source so if you have a lot of data then solar is used for the search uh, technology uh, it can be uh, used for a storage purpose uh, it is a non-relational database. It is not like a SQL. It doesn't have any relationship. Okay, it is the all the data is stored as a document in the Solar. Uh, it is scalable, ready to deploy, search storage engine optimized to search a large volume. So basically, overall, at a summarize, if you summarize it, Solar is basically used uh, for a uh, for for a search uh, searching a uh, content into the large uh, volumes. Okay, if you talk about the history. Uh, the solar is a build but created by Yonix Sealy in 2004 okay it was built for CNET network website and it, then uh, in 2006 uh, Jan 2006 it is made as an open source project under Apache software uh, foundation the latest version of the solar is a 9.0.0 so let's see features of solar first thing is a RESTful API so solar provides a restful api so that makes the developers life easy we can we can integrate with these uh, solar uh, uh, okay in the uh, in the, in this we can uh, we, we enter the document in this uh, in uh, in a different format like xml json and csv and get the result in the same file format so restful api is one of the feature of a solar so that is that is why it can, can be uh, integrated with any technology Second is a full text search. So Solar provide a full text search. Uh, full text search. What it mean by? Is not there. There will be a different option which is provided. Like you can search with a token. You can which uh, search with the phrases. Spell check. If you even if you change uh, put the wrong spelling, then also it gives the result. Wildcard. You can put put a star and get the all the result. Auto complete. So this kind of functionality which is Solar provides. No SQL database. This is no SQL database. So. Uh, there is no relational database okay so it did, uh, it means it can use for a huge volumes uh, it has a good admin interface we will have a demo of our admin interface uh, soon uh, uh, in the next uh, videos uh, so flexible and extensible so by extending the java classes and configuration uh, uh, we can extend the solar classes so these are the few um, you know, features which makes uh, uh, solar uh, very useful First is the RESTful API, full text search, non SQL database, so which is for the huge volumes, good admin interface, and flexible and extensible. Let's see uh, Solar basic concept and ter terminology. Uh, for this, we will take a very, very simple example. Okay, uh, so let's assume that you want to search something in your uh, notebook, uh, not notebook, your book okay now you want to search anything how will you search it the first way is you will go to each page and you whatever term or whatever uh, wh whatever uh, text which you want to search you will go each page and then you will start searching that page okay and finally you will find the page 
okay this is the one method second method how we will do it what you will do is you will go to the your first page or table or index page okay there you will try to find out the relative text like you words so you are sub searching for something like uh, in 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 one of the book you are searching for the site code you will see where is site code okay and if you find that then you will go to that page and we will check whether that page is there and then that, that that's how you will find the uh, uh, the actual page okay so so overall if you want to understand very simple uh, i mean for very simple way so this is how solar also work okay so in solar uh, solar uh, how, what are the, let's say the different terminology in, in this example or two okay search whatever you are searching is your search term okay how you are searching that is a queries okay so you build the queries okay then uh, how uh, uh, the indexes page like you have an index page so similarly you will have a indexes created for the your uh, your document okay so that those are indexes okay document is actually uh, your data okay which contains the fields so also one document will have a lot of fields where your data is get stored like in sql we have a, a column and the rows right but in document it will be like a one document you will have a field and value field and value okay then uh, the uh, there is something called index writer which actually writes the index so whatever uh, the index which are getting written it is done by the index writer whereas the index which is getting searched is called as a search index so this is a very simple concept and terminologies okay so uh, if you you, whenever you you want to understand the solar in a simple way it is the best example to understand it okay so you have a, a, a book where you want to search something you go with via the index page you find the index uh, what is the page number and then you will go to the uh, the page so similarly in solar what happens is whatever the document which gets stored in the solar the corresponding indexes are getting created okay indexing doesn't uh, stored all the data okay it has a references so whatever you are searching that will be searched in the indexes and then from that you will get the document so this is the basic concept of the solar let's say what is solar cloud solar cloud high availability and fault tolerant environment so environment which is having having a high availability and fault tolerant both solar cloud is basically your solar is hosted on the cloud what is high availability? High availability is the ability of a system to operate continuously without failing for a designated period. So without failing the system should be up. And what is the fault tolerant? Fault tolerant is a design to return to a safe condition in the event of failure of malfunctioning. So if your system got fail in any case, the system should get up in within no time. So these are the two things which helps uh, we, uh, the uh, uh, which is which is uh, which is actually a uh, features of a cloud. So solar is hosted on the cloud. So this will provide you high availability and fault tolerant environment. So if we def go with the definition wise, it is a system in which data is organized into a multiple pieces. So your data is organized into the multiple pieces or a shards. Uh, we will see what is shards that can be hosted on a multiple machine. So you will have a multiple machines also. Okay. So with the replicas providing the redundancy for the both scalability and fault tolerance. So it's a scalable and fault tolerant and the zookeeper server serves that helps manage the overall structure so that both indexing and search request can be routed properly zookeeper is basically uh, works as a load balancer if you are having the multiple uh, uh, instances in how it should get route for the indexing and the uh, search so that will be managed by zookeeper so we'll see what is zookeeper in detail let's see now what is solar uh, solar cloud architecture and there are different terminology used in that architecture okay so high level okay we are not going in detail so this is a high level solar uh, architecture where you will have a zookeeper cluster where you okay and which will handle the uh, request uh, uh, for the indexing as well as a uh, request for the uh, uh, searching and it also handles the load okay and then you are you have a two solar instance where two, there will be two things one is a shard uh, two the, there will be different shards so first shard and out of this uh, those shared one will be say, uh, one will be act as a leader and another will be add, act as a replica okay 
so what is uh, zookeeper does zookeeper provides the centralized cluster management so it is managing the cluster but we can have so you can see solar instance one solar to those clusters are created so that is managed by zookeeper zookeeper tracks each node of the cluster and the state of the each core on each node okay so zookeeper tracks the each node so it's not only the balance it it is also tracks the uh, nodes okay uh, of the uh, sorry it will balance uh, it will uh, track the cluster and the state of uh, each core and on each node so what is core and node uh, we will see later okay configuration files are stored in the zookeeper okay so files for configuration files are stored in the zookeeper and on the file system uh, not on the file system okay so generally what we do is we put the file system in the uh, config uh, the instance itself okay but here we you put it on the zookeeper okay uh, when the configuration changes are made so any configuration changes are made then they must be uploaded to the zookeeper okay which in turns make sure the node node changes have been updated so if there is no the, if you updated anything uh, then it will be it, it it is the zookeeper responsibility okay so whatever you are uploading whatever the files which you are uploading configuration files that should go into the zookeeper and then it will manage it okay for the instances zookeeper also handles the load balancing and failover so if there is any uh, load balance if you have, uh, whether you have a two instances so, so those instances we basically call as a node so we have a two nodes okay so each node uh, which node has a lot of uh, load accordingly it will balance it so it acts as a balance uh, load balancer also collection so what is collection a collection is an entire group of cores that represent an index okay so it is it is represent the entire uh, it is a collection of a uh, entire group of a uh, cores that represent a index what is shard shard is a logical partition of a collection okay so whatever the collection that is a logically it is pa part uh, done a partition that is called as a, uh, a shard and this partition stores a part of a entire index for a collection sharding is handled automatically simply by telling solar uh, during the collection uh, creation how many shards you like to collect uh, uh, collection to have indexes updated are the, then generally balanced between the each shard automatically so it is, it is automatically processed when you create the any uh, any collection that time you specify how many shards you want like you are here we have a two shards okay so we specify those shards uh, then indexes are uh, uh, then generally uh, 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 indexes update uh, index updates are then generally balanced between the each shard automatically so the whatever the indexes are happening which is getting balanced between shard 1 and shard 2 basically it is get replicated into the both the shard solar core it is a phys it is a single physical index so when we say a solar core it is basically a physical index what is a replica so this is a replica you see here right so what is it a physical manifestation of a logical shard okay then what is leader this is the leader okay so leader is a one of a replica every shard will designated as a leader to coordinate indexing for that shard okay so every uh, if there are number of shards one one shard will be designated as a leader which will coordinate indexing for that shard node so a single instance of a solar is a called a node so you see here two instances so each instance is called as a node cluster all the nodes you are using to uh, host a solar core so this is cluster you have a solar one solar two that completely zooky but this is called as a cluster okay let's see a few configuration file which is used in uh, uh, solar first is the solar.xml it is the file in the uh, solar underscore home directory so it is a file in the home directory that contains the solar cloud related information okay and all cores are load, uh, loaded from this file okay so all the co cores are loaded from this file and it does contain the cloud related information next is the solar config.xml this file contains the definition and core specific configuration related to a request handling and response formatting all of the indexing configuring uh, managing memory and making commits okay the so solar xml file contains the definition uh, and the core specific configurations okay then uh, we have a schema.xml this is very important file this file contains the whole schema 
okay along with the fields and field type so whatever uh, the schema which you are uh, whatever the uh, uh, the the document which you are creating basically whatever the data which you are storing so each data whatever the fields are there and what type of a fields are there so that definitions is contained in the schema.xml okay so it is it is very important file because when you create the like like let's take an example like sql you when you create a sql you have a, a, a you create design the sql right you give the uh, file what is the column name okay what is the limit so all those information right so similarly we have a schema file in the solar core properties so this file contains the configuration specific to the core okay it is related to core it is referred for a core discovery as it contains the name of the core so it defines the name of that core okay and path of the data directory where the data is stored that is also given in the core properties it can be used in any directory which will then be treated as the core directory so these are the four uh, important uh, configuration files in solar so we have seen uh, solar basic uh, solar and the solar cloud <coughs> uh, if, uh, for a site code developer uh, you you must have heard this term search tax okay so what is search tax it is solar as a service so what is search tax search tax is a product which provides a solar as a service option so it, it, it is basically solar only but it is used as a service so it is managed solar cloud and for the site code solution it is it is more preferred product because uh, you do not have to concentrate on concentrate how it works okay you do not have to manage the solar it is managed by the uh, by the search tax team okay so this is the uh, solar as a service option so what is the advantage of using uh, solar as a service option like search tax it is a built-in monitoring and it has a built-in monitoring and alerting mechanism so you do not have to work on the uh, monitoring setting up the monitoring and alerting okay it, it has a built-in uh, technology it is a cloud automation as i said it is it is uh, the solar cloud only but it is a managed well. breakup and disaster recovery uh, obviously if it is in the solar uh, it is in the cloud then it will provide all the uh, cloud related uh, features like a uh, uh, high availability cluster uh, backup and disaster recovery for security purpose it creates a private cloud instance uh, instances so it, it, as it is managed the infrastructure is not managed by the uh, by us it is managed by the search tax team so the the overall infrastructure cost also get reduced okay so search tax is provided in the two provides the two products when is a managed cloud it is basically your generally uh, the normal sol solar which is hosted on the cloud so another option which is very very interesting option is the search studio if you have seen the covio there you have a ui also so so similar kind of functionality is provided by the search studio it is a ai, AI driven service uh, search service with a content recommendation okay so these are the two uh, 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 option which is provided by the search tag okay so today we have seen uh, the uh, so we are done for today so we have seen what is the what is solar we have seen the basic of the solar uh, what is solar cloud okay what are what are the different terminology used in the solar cloud and then uh, we have seen what is search tax uh, and what is the advantage of using search tax so this is just an introductionary uh, top uh, video on the solar so in the next uh, uh, few videos we will talk about how the uh, uh, solar get installed and then we will have a demo of a solar admin module okay so if you are not subscribed to the channel please subscribe to our channel please click on a like button please share it with your friends and please provide your feedback via the comment and also which is very important click on the notification but uh, bell icon to get the notification okay if you have any question you must be knowing that uh, where i am reachable it is this is my gmail id and this is my uh, linkedin id so thank you thanks for watching this video